So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as waymarks. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? What is it they want? 
You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle round the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. have left the village.
Gott. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Companion, it's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Care Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My thanks. To our Lady of the Wind. And the King! Ugh. The Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> Lady Benedicta! Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. But I was getting bored. Let 
be on your way, Sid. Don't let them get away. got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something is there. And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <laughs> so, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. No offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. <laughs> <laughs> You know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led, and watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the day. The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. And should the Revenge won't bring him back. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace. 
to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be its slave, then. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. <sighs> I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive! Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be travelling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress, and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care, and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well... When you put it that way... <sighs> Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But... He's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clyde. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No.
Settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and I'll best hope we're getting a decent night's nice kip. You haven't much, but you're free to look. Hope it's to your liking. Could never have too many. Keep fighting the good fight. You're the kind man who saved Mummy. Thank you. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? 
You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means. And what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke, all swallowed up in his robes, like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. Quinton took a liking to you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you go look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood, and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. 
for us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. The road south, then? Unless... centuries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. The royal is thinking. What? In a stronghold, they've no chance of holding. When they've no intention of holding it, the king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? 
This is one of His Majesty's cunning stunts, and he sends his best to execute it. There they are! Where do they all come from? <laughs> there, boy! Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want... ...is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are... ...but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is... I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. this Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Hey. Mm -hmm. 